Good evening, all my uh, LifeWise friends. Uh, this is Dr. Tracy Gibbs, Chief Science Officer for LifeWise. Uh, and I'm super excited to present uh, In the Lab with you tonight. We have uh, a pretty cool topic that I want to talk about tonight. Um, <clears throat> and I've entitled this, uh, this particular presentation, sorry, let me just get my camera fixed here. This particular presentation is entitled uh, The Magic Molecule. Um, I want to clarify and say magic molecules because this is actually going to be a four-part series. So what I'm going to be talking about tonight is part one of the four-part series. Uh, and it's specifically going to be relating to uh, some of the magical molecules that are found in our products. So I'll go over like the molecule name. So there's going to be a lot of science. You guys are going to learn a lot of new words tonight. Uh, in fact, some of these words are even going to be new to scientists. That's how cutting edge some of this technology that we're going to be talking about uh, tonight is. So look, if you've got medical doctor friends, if you've got, you know, naturopathic doctors, if you have people that think they're called formulators or other scientists that you want to recruit, have them watch the four-part series, especially starting tonight. Because the particular molecule we're going to be talking about tonight <clears throat> is incredible. So as a short introduction, many of you know me, but I, I, I'm hoping there's going to be some new people uh, uh, watching this as well. <clears throat> so once again, my name is Dr. Tracy Gibbs. I am the Chief Science Officer for LifeWise. Uh, LifeWise is an amazing company. I'm going to let my partner Rob talk to you guys all about why LifeWise and, and why it's such a cool company to be a part of and the business aspect of it and the human development uh, uh, aspect of it. What I'm here to talk tonight about <clears throat> is the science and the products behind LifeWise. Um, but uh, myself, I'm a pharmacognosist. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a pharmacognosist is, that's a person who specializes in the phytoactive nutrients found in plants or phytochemicals. Uh, my particular specialty is in ethnobotany and organic chemistry. So I got to live abroad uh, in many different uh, places and um, parts of the world with indigenous people and see how they use um, plants uh, for medicine and plants for food. And then I would, uh, you know, take notes and then bring specimens of those plants back to the lab and figure out why they work, what active phytochemicals chemicals are in those, what biological compounds are in those plants. And then I would determine whether they had commercial value or not, whether they could be used to formulate, uh, uh, put in a product or an OTC uh, or maybe a skincare product or something like that. So that's what I've been doing my entire adult life. Uh, and I have formulated well over a thousand products uh, throughout my career that have been commercially available. So for those of you who don't know me, that's just a little bit of background. <clears throat> so we'll start tonight, part one of a four part series of Magic Molecules. Uh, so let me ask a question. Uh, first of all, I, I get asked this question a lot. What are phytochemicals? You know, what is this thing that I study? Well, phytochemicals are the biologically active compounds that are found in our plants. Phyto meaning plant and chemicals meaning, again, those compounds, those basic elements, right? <clears throat> For example, did you know that vitamins are phytochemicals? They're just phytochemicals that have been discovered to be essential for human life. And so a long time ago, about 87, almost 90 years ago, this term uh, vital men or vitamin, meaning vital for life, was coined uh, after we discovered that, for example, vitamin C was essential for life. Uh, and by the way, these phytochemicals keep receiving vitamin status. For example, uh, one of the newer vitamins that maybe many of you don't know aware of is actually vitamin P. Vitamin P are citrus bioflavonoids. They've been discovered to be essential for life back in about 1998, uh, and so they received vitamin status. So now citrus bioflavonoids are called vitamin P. You know, someday maybe coenzyme Q10, because it's found in every living cell, it might be discovered why coenzyme Q10 is, is vital for life and maybe it will receive vitamin status. But anyway, all phytochemicals are these biological uh, or bioactive compounds that help uh, bring wellness uh, and 
sometimes can create disease and sometimes can even kill people. You know, obviously there's plants that, that are poisonous and toxic, and those biological compounds are also phytochemicals. So anything that gives a spice its flavor or an herb its smell uh, or some of the uh, active compounds that can improve human health, these are phytochemicals. And so that's what we're going to be talking about in this four-part series are the active biological compounds or active phytochemicals that are found in the LifeWise products. So tonight I'm going to introduce a very special compound to you that is found in our product called Dream. Tonight we're going to be talking about uh, saffron. And we're not actually going to be talking about saffron. That was incorrect. We're going to be talking about the biological compound or compounds that are found in saffron. So we happen to use at LifeWise a very special trademarked and patented form of saffron that's called Afron. Uh, it was introduced to me by a, a company that I've worked with for a long time, GenCore. And so when this uh, uh, presentation is done, I would love for you guys to go search, do a quick Google search on Afron, A-F-F-R-O-N. That's the trademarked word for the particular saffron extract that we use. Now, why is this saffron um, so important? Why did we decide to use a patented, you know, trademarked, way more expensive uh, uh, saffron extract than what you might find out there on the market? And let me tell you why. Because GenCorp has performed a myriad of clinical studies, but also they've been able to uh, extract out and standardize a certain percentage level of these biological compounds, these phytochemicals or phytonutrients found in Afron. And what they have trademarked them uh, is um, leptocrosylides. Hopefully I said that correctly. It's a brand new word even for scientists because it's a trademarked word. But what it is, it's a standardized version of three particular phytochemicals that are commonly found in high potency saffron extracts of, <clears throat> excuse me, Cochrane, Saffronol, and Picro, uh, excuse me, Picrocrosin. So, Crocin, Saffronol, and Picrocrosin, those are the three compounds. And combined, they make up three and a half percent total of the active biological compounds found in this particular trademarked form of Afron. Now, why are these particular phytochemicals or the active compounds in saffron so important for us? Well, this particular brand that we use in our product, this particular brand called Afron, has neuropathy studies, studies that show that it can improve mood function, studies that show it relieves stress, studies that support relaxation, studies that show that it enhances sleep patterns, and they have done to toxicological studies uh, or in other words, studies that would uh, indicate or prove that there's harm if taken in certain doses. Uh, and they have proven that there are no side effects, that there's no drug uh, uh, contraindications, that this can be used safely with other medications and things like that. <clears throat> They've also gone so far to do research uh, about the main mechanisms of action. And, and as a Pharmacognosist, this is what you're looking for. How does the biological compound interact with the body? And why does it act the in the body the way it does? And what mechanisms of action within the body are it performing? So the mechanism of action for these particular biological compounds found in saffron have been proven to show that they balance neurotransmitters. <clears throat> um, particularly, they help regulate levels of dopamine and serotonin uh, in, the, um, <clears throat> in the body. Uh, sorry, I'm having to choose my words very carefully here because again, we don't want to make uh, medical or disease claims. So uh, I apologize if I'm hesitating when I use certain words because I'm trying to think you know, about FDA regulations and whatnot too. Uh, Afron is not a drug, it is not um, been approved for use for certain diseases as a drug and therefore I have to be cautious about how I talk about it even though there's amazing human clinical studies on it all right 
But the mechanism of action is it facilitates neuroplasticity. Now, what that means is it increases uh, the BDNF uh, expression, which facilitates like synaptogenesis. And I know those are a lot of big words, but like I said, I want you guys to Google these words. I want you guys to all be like mini scientists or, you know, get if you've got a a uh, psychologist, psychiatrist, a, a neurosurgeon, or anybody that studies uh, neurology, have them watch this because they're going to be amazed at what this molecule does. So basically, this mechanism of action that facilitates the neuroplasticity, it helps keep your uh, BDNF levels in normal ranges. And look, if your levels are out of whack, it can lead to a lot of uh, neurological problems. Out of whack is not a scientific term, but <laughs> again, trying to keep things legal without stating specific diseases. Um, doctors, especially neurological physicians, will know what I'm talking about, all right? Now, these studies were not like animal studies or things like that. These were actual human studies, right? A 740 patient study, randomized, double blind, placebo controlled clinical study, four weeks of using Afron showed significant changes in tension, in depression, in anger management, fatigue, uh, confusion, and Vigor, increase in vigor. I was trying to remember all, all of the things that they actually studied. Uh, now, an exciting topic I'm going to jump to right now. So we've talked about all these great neurological effects of Afron, but guess what? They've done over eight clinical studies on menopause, teen mood, so teenage mood swings and everything, right? And sleep patterns. This is the main reason I decided to use this ingredient for our dream product is because of the sleep pattern studies. But guys, the amazing side effects can also balance hormones in post, pre and post menopausal women. That's what some of these biological compounds have been proven to do in uh, these clinical studies. It can also improve teen mood. I've raised teenagers. Sometimes you think they're just nuts. I mean, right? They come home from school, they look depressed, and you say, how'd your day go? And they're like, fine. You know, oh, what happened today? Nothing. Yeah, You get these one answer, and sometimes they don't even answer you, right? These moods in teens, it, this, this is just, seems to be normal for them. But actually, because their hormones are so out of whack, this is what's going on in their brain. These dopamine and serotonin levels are all out of balance, and and Afron, this particular extract from Saffron, can improve teenage mood. Who wouldn't love to have happy, healthy teenagers in their home? Like that would, that in and of itself is why I called this series Miracle Molecules because happy teenagers, that's a miracle, right? They're only happy when I call it the three Fs, right? Friends, food, and fun. Family is not included in that F, by the way. Uh, but maybe by taking Afron or taking our dream product, getting a good night's sleep, it might be four Fs that bring teenagers happiness and family can be one of those. Anyway, that's, uh, that's why I've called this series Miracle Molecules. <clears throat> so this is our dream product. Dream includes a clinical dose. So matching the clinical studies dosage that was done on this particular molecule, I've added that same dose into the dream product and combine that with L-theanine as well as uh, melatonin for a good night's sleep. So this particular product is used for sleeping, but imagine while you're sleeping if all these other brain patterns, brain waves, and hormone uh, balancing aspects can occur while you're sleeping. What an amazing product that would be. Well, that's what we have in our dream product. So you can read the supplement facts panel. It's right there. Now, tonight, again, I am going to keep this short uh, because it's just one of a four-part series. And tonight, that's all we're going to talk about. But I did want to mention one thing to you all. So we have discovered <clears throat> that when we ship this via USPS, they consider this a package, even though it's super small. 
But if we were to ship, you know, just a regular strip like this in an envelope, they consider this a document. So Ronnie and, and a guy that I work with thought about something like this. Now look at this. Is that cool? I can fit 10 strips in each of these pockets. 30 strips in this card. Look at all this marketing space we got here, right? And when I mail this, the U.S. Postal Service says it's a document, and documents are about a buck seventy-five versus seven fifty for something like this. Now, of course, when you add a couple of these together and everything, you know your shipping might end up being in the five fifty dollar range versus ten fifty to eleven for this. But I did want you guys to know that we are working on ways to reduce shipping and make this product more shareable. Now, why is this super cool? Because think about this: so you get your product in the mail. You go ahead and use these strips, right? And instead of throwing this away, which is what you would do with this box when it's done, it's gonna be empty after using it. Why don't you then put three of these and because all this marketing material is gonna be here, you just give it to your friend now. You've now just created a marketing sample packet with all the cool label and marketing information on it and three strips each and there you go. Have three good nights sleep and then contact me you know, put a little sticky note here that's got your contact information on it. This is going to be way cool and super shareable. So, Ronnie, you're amazing uh, for sharing that with me. And then I have to thank my friend Travis. I'm not going to say his last name, but he works at a very large, you know, paper company who made this sample for me. I just got these in today, showed that it fits. It's going to save you shipping. It's going to be shareable. It's going to be super marketing. It's going to be awesome. Dream is an amazing formula and we want to share it with as many people as we can. You've heard about the science tonight. Share this Facebook live with as many people as you can uh, because this miracle molecule of Afron, the trademarked uh, uh, extraction from saffron that we use, is truly a miracle molecule. And by the way, GenCore is going to continue to do study after study on this. It's an amazing ingredient, and I can't wait to talk more about it as more and more studies are being done. So thank you much for watching, and hope you guys all have a great evening. Good night.